Dr. Gotti, there was news coverage and studies about what's called DCIS. You can help us understand what that is and whether women should have treatment or not. So if you think about the breast, there's two kinds of structures we think about in cancer. There's lobules and ducts. There's cells lining these structures. And over a woman's lifetime, sometimes because she inherited a bad mutation from somebody, but more often than not, just bad luck in terms of mutations happening in these cells, they get a little bit of a growth advantage. And the first thing they do is, if you imagine these ducts, these cells grow along those ducts in an uncontrolled way. And when we see that, we call that ductal carcinoma in situ. In situ means in place. So this is the term DCIS. If a couple more mutations happen over time, maybe another 5, 10, 15 years, these cells, instead of being content to live inside those ducts, break through the lining of the duct and start spreading into that normal tissue. When we see that, we call that invasive ductal carcinoma. Now, DCIS, frankly, is too dumb to go anywhere. It's stuck inside those ducts. But the minute you're an invasive cancer, you've demonstrated the ability to go somewhere else. And one of the first places we think about are these lymph nodes, but truth be told, it can go anywhere, any distant organ, any major organ. And so being able to distinguish DCIS from invasive cancer is really important. And right now, the only way we can do that reliably is to look at the tissue underneath the, underneath the microscope. And how do you get the tissue? Well, you have to take the lump out of the breast. So what ends up happening to these poor women with DCIS, even though they don't have a cancer that in theory cannot kill them, there's a potential that lurking in there somewhere is cancer cells that can. And we can't find those until we fully take out these specimens. And as a result, women get put through lumpectomies and mastectomies, and in the worst case scenario, radiation therapies and, and, and chemotherapies and drug therapies that may or may not have ever affected them for a cancer that really wasn't gonna kill them. And so the research now is to understand who's got DCIS that we really need to care about and who's got stuff that we don't need to. And until we're able to do that, we're kind of just lumping all these poor women into one, one category. So there's a movement afoot. There's doctors who feel like they can tell the difference and researchers who are showing them the way, including researchers here at the SECA. And if we can more carefully characterize these women with just high quality imaging, but also next generation technologies to analyze the tumor tissue, can we safely identify a group of women that we can reliably look at and say, you're gonna be okay. Maybe take this pill to prevent this from getting any further or protecting the other breast, but at a minimum, you're going to be okay because this is not something that we foresee you killing you. If we can say that with confidence, I think we can step back from sort of committing these 60,000 women a year to all of the whole kit and caboodle and really just tailor that to the women that really need it. It doesn't sound like you have quite that confidence yet. If I were a woman sitting here in this situation, we'd have to have a discussion. We'd have to have a discussion, and the research is going on, and there are clinical trials, not just here, but in other institutions around the country, specifically trying to identify these women. And once we can say with confidence, we've done this, then we can roll that strategy out to everybody. But before you can get there, you have to have the conversation to understand there's a, there's a controversy, and that's the level at which we are. And there's some talking heads out there getting a lot of airwave time about this issue, and it should happen because that conversation needs to happen. If we don't ask those questions forevermore, it'll be just the same protocol for everybody, and that's clearly not acceptable. But not a definitive answer. Not yet. yet. Not yet.